Okay, I did a little work to the burners here. Uh, I'm going to burn in a much better. Also changed the design a little bit. Now, the first thing I did is I drilled some holes. Okay, right here. There's four holes all the way around to let more air in this burner assembly. Uh, now, the other burners I made, what I had there was, if you remember, um, an eighth inch um, plug. I threaded in there. Um, it was threaded from the inside. Uh, I got that plug out through these holes, by the way. Um, what I did is I made a different system so I could put different size orifices in and do it pretty quickly. So here's what I did. I took a six inch long pipe nipple right here, okay? Now these are generally threaded on both ends, but they're only threaded about, I don't know, an inch on both sides maybe. So what I did is I got a die, the correct size die, and I continued the threads down a couple three inches, okay? So I just basically continued threading it down. What that does is it gives me tremendous adjustment when I when I thread this into this bracket here. I can thread it all the way to here if I'd like, or I can back it off like this, okay? The other thing I did was I soldered a nut on the end. You can't even see it because uh, it's soldered brass to brass. So what I did is I soldered a nut on the end, and then I re-tapped it to fit this right here, which is a um, MIG welding tip, okay? Uh, so I bought a 10-pack of these MIG welding tips, and I then tapped this nut, re-tapped it for the correct thread, which is um, metric. Okay? So that what that does is it gives me the ability to unscrew this quickly and put a different orifice in and change the orifices as I go. Okay? So these burners are going to burn in pretty good with a 54, a size 54 drill. Okay? Um, they burn a little bit lean, actually. So what I'm going to do is I don't have a 52 drill but I do have a 16th of an inch drill which is very close to a 52 right to right around there okay I have some number 50 drill bits but I think those are going to be too big and they're going to burn rich and cause that yellow flame again so both of these are set up right now with 54 number 54 drill bit jets okay I'm going to retap redrill one of these right now with a 16th and I'm going to set them both up and we'll see how they burn, we'll see what the differences are. So let me set these up and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my um, test for my burners. Um, what I did is I changed the orifice size to 1 16th of an inch. Um, like I said, a number 50 drill bit was way too big and they were running really rich. Number 54 drill bit was um, too small, they were running a bit lean. So this is 16th of an inch and I hope this is good. So let's uh, test these out. Turn the gas on here. Get a little bit of gas going, and uh, here we go. All right, there's one of them. The gas is gas is bass. The gas is barely going. Maybe the other one will go. Maybe. Come on. All right, let me shut these off. I'll get. I'm going to light both of them. I'm going to blow myself up here. I smell gas. I'm surprised that didn't go. Turn the gas back on. There we go. Alright, let's get a little volume here and see what happens. Those look pretty good. A lot of blue there. And gas is maybe a third of the way. Okay, I like those. That's three quarters of the way maybe. Ooh, back burn. Wonder what happened there. Let's try that again. That 
was odd. It's almost like the gas flow stopped and then it back burned. I think my regulator froze up. It is awful cold out here. I'm gonna guess that's what happened. So that was a, that, that's a pretty good looking flame. My regulator is very, very cold. Yep, and I can hear the gas actually losing pressure right now. I'm not touching anything. So the regulator's getting really cold. It's freezing out here today. I'm gonna guess that's what happens, but I'm gonna guess if this regulator's kept warmer, this flame's gonna be okay, and these burners are gonna burn just fine. So this is it, this is my final design. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. And I'll bet these are gonna be just fine. Let's crank the gas all the way up, see what happens. Yeah, that's all the way up. That regulator's awful cold. Those are burning pretty good. That one on the right looks like it's burning not quite all the way around the mouth. What I'll do is see those burners right there? I think I'll screw those in, adjust them that way a little bit. Maybe if I screw them in or out, they'll burn a little better, but those flames look good, so that orifice size is going to be good for these burners. And I think I'm pretty happy with this, so after I get the kiln all coated, what I'll do is um, install these burners, throw the lids on, and uh, we'll see what happens, see if it gets up to temp. And I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Uh, my next video will be uh, probably coating this with some ITC HT100 or whatever that stuff is. And uh, after I get it all coated, then I'll do my first firing to cure the stuff. I probably won't actually put anything in the kiln. Make sure the burners are running okay. Make sure um, everything climbs up, the temperature climbs right. And I maybe get this into reduction also. Now, the nice thing about these burners is these holes here, what I can do is I can cover up those holes mid-firing with like a little sleeve or a pipe clamp or something. And those flames will turn orange and give them my... Uh, Give a nice reduction atmosphere in the kiln. Hopefully that's the plan. So uh, That's it. I hope this burner series kind of helps some people out. Um, I spent a lot of time on this. It actually would have been cheaper for me to just buy a couple from Ward Burner. A bunch of hours into these things, figuring them out and um, whatnot. So. Alright, uh, that's it. And I'll see you in the next clip. Thanks.